drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. Within this video is an early look at the new Brewbell X2 unit tanks, one of which I received recently for evaluation. At this point I'm still not fully finished with my testing just yet and still await some parts and accessories, but I am so impressed by the kit in general that I've decided to provide this preview video to share what I can with you at this early stage. I will follow up with a further video later once my testing is complete. So let's get into it. The new range of X2 unit tanks are planned to release in the US this month for February 2023, will be rolling out into Europe and Australia from as early as March to April this year too. It has to be said that I am thrilled that another US homebrew kit manufacturer has decided to export outside of the States, and I certainly hope that this is a trend that continues to grow. The X2 range of conical fermenters are a follow-up to Brewbuilt's popular X1 range that you see here. The X1 was sadly not released into Europe, so I have not had the pleasure of evaluation, but the clear message behind the range was to deliver pro features and finish to homebrewers at a competitive price point. The X2 range offers some key design and feature improvements, including a whole new range of jacketed models that allow the use of glycol chillers, but without the need for anything further added into your tank, as jacketed models allow glycol flow within a new cavity. Not only does this improve cooling performance, but it also means less cleaning, so it's such a big win all round. So as such, the X2 range will be offered in jacketed or standard, and the different X2 tanks are available in the following four sizes shown on screen in both the metric and imperial measurements. So as you can see, there is a nice level of variety and the opportunity to go pretty big should that suit you. The model I have here for evaluation is one of the new jacketed versions, this one being the smallest of the range at 7 US gallons, which equates to 26.5 litres. The very next thing that you are bound to notice when face to face with one of these unit tanks is just how nice quality that mirror finish is, and when they say a mirror finish they are certainly not kidding. In fact this made filming this unit rather tricky without putting myself in the shot, which is something I am keen to avoid as I firmly believe that I am here for voice over only, and it is the subject matter that should be in the frame rather than me. And in case you are wondering, yes that is a vintage Nirvana t-shirt. The mirror finish on these unit tanks is so good and clear that I'll be more than happy to take a cutthroat razor shave in front of it, but naturally as a brewer I would just be shaving my neck. So let's now take a look around this unit. On the top here there is a downward pointing blow off for regular fermentations and a generous length of hosing is supplied with this by standard. The middle and extra side ports you can see here can be used with Brewbuilt's pressure pack accessories, which are now standard on the X2 models. At present I am still waiting these parts, but I was pleased to see that the pressure plaque includes a floating dip tube. Here is a look at the lid and floating dip. Had this not been standard though, I would have added a floating dip myself, and I have converted all of my case to have this same thing too. On the other side of the lid you can see that there is a pressure valve built into the lid itself, which is changeable and allows the pressure lid to focus on other features. Also featured on the lid is a Brewbuilt logo, and you can see that the lid itself is secured by a clamp assembly. This clamp assembly keeps everything secure for you and is easy to attach and detach. Let's now remove the lid and you can see on the inside of the lid that we have a very large seal which is certainly very reassuring. Here is a quick look inside the unit tank itself and we are greeted once again by this very nice polished mirror finish. As you may have already noticed there are volume markings in both metric and imperial to please everyone which is certainly appreciated. In this clip you can see the inside of three ports which are present on the conical's cone, which you can see includes by standard a thermal well so you can add in a temperature probe from a controller. And finally here is the bottom of the tank which features a bottom port in the centre of the conical curve, which by standard leads to a butterfly valve which I will show you shortly. Here is the side of the jacketed tank's exterior and you can see that there are two 1.5 inch triclamp ports that allow you to flow glycol for faster cooling. To my mind this is one of the most important enhancements that the new X2 range features moving away from the Korg 6 system which was present on certain X1 models. As we saw earlier there are now three triclamp ports on the conical's cone and here is a quick look at all three. The one that I have blanked off for now has various potential uses including being used with a carb stone or a rotating racking arm which are optional accessories. Here is a clearer and closer look at the thermal well port, which accommodates quarter inch diameter temp probes and extends out four inches. 
On my third port I have something that can be used for samples or for transfer and you can see that the exit has a barbed end and that there is a control knob for adjustable flow. Here is a side look at the unit tank so that you can see the conical aspect of the tank more clearly as well as on the left a look at the control knob of the sample and transfer port fitting. And then at the exit of the conical's bottom we have a butterfly valve which is a standard part included in both Brewbill X2 packages. Then finally at the bottom of the unit tank we have four reinforced crossbar legs with these standard feet but there are other options as you'll see later. I should also mention that the jacketed version of the X2 is supplied by standard with a neoprene jacket for insulation. Also included is the pressure pack and a bottom container for the bottom butterfly valve which Brew built call a flex chamber which is used as a trub separator and yeast harvester. Firmzilla Conical users will note that this is a familiar part as well as being a useful one. None of these parts shown on screen are included with the standard X2 tank but these parts and then more besides can be purchased separately. In terms of extras, Brewbuilt certainly offer a wide selection of replacement parts and also accessories as you can see here from their website. Some of these accessories like for example the rolling castor wheels kit will depend on your situation, but certainly if you intend to use your X2 for pressure, then a pressure gauge and a spunding valve should be considered compulsory minimum purchases if you do not already have this site covered. Though it has to be said that naturally there is a wide selection of aftermarket products from a large variety of brands that will fit these tanks due to the standardised tri-clamp sizes and corny keg bowlock posts featured on the X2 aside from what is offered here. These will range from very budget through to premium price points that you may wish to consider too. I believe this is a very smart choice by Brewbill as it presents many more options to the customer and as such has a value in itself. It also means that some brewers will also be able to utilise parts that they have already used on previous products too of course and not having to buy everything again certainly makes purchases like this easier to push the button on. At the time of making this video the two models of the X2 unit tanks are being offered in the US at the pre-order price range you see on screen depending on the size of the unit tank and as previously mentioned there are four different volume models to choose from of each type. Naturally when it comes to pricing in markets outside of the US this will remain to be seen due to the extra cost of export but certainly these prices look very good value when you consider what is on offer here. For more information check out the Brewbuilt website at simplybrewbuilt.com and I very much look forward to completing my testing and coming back to you with further information in regards to my experiences and impressions. I am very interested to know what you think too from your impressions within this video and further online. Do let myself and the community know within the comments section of this video which is open to discussion. Also let me know if you have any early questions on these products and as always I will give every comment an answer. Certainly it looks like 2023 is going to be a great year for products just as 2022 was. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing. For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!